All right, guys, it's Wednesday morning. I got the sun in my face. It's bright out here. I go to this thrift every Wednesday to see what I can find to sell on eBay. Let's go in there and see if we can find anything today. The music is loud in here, so I will voice this over. This Stratego game can do pretty decent. I thought this was a model kit. Turns out to just be a puzzle, so I passed on it. Um, I'm also going to pass on the Stratego. Going to look through all these games right here. Quick glance. They always keep a bunch up here. And I come across this game up here that's actually pretty good. Uh, it's Dominion. I've sold this game before. Usually $20 to $25 plus shipping. And they are only asking $3.99 for it. So I'll pick it up at $3.99 and should flip for a pretty good profit. Continuing to scan this top shelf. And I actually come across this BP Fuel Tanker Truck Toy. I did stop and take a look at it. They're asking $5.99 for it, and looking at a one that is listed right now, someone's actually only asking $5 plus shipping for it, so I passed on this. So at this point, we're just going to keep looking at toys and games on this top shelf. Nothing's really standing out, but I'll still take a look here and there, see if anything stands out to me. Again, I just like to look at everything, see if there's anything that stands out new in the package, because um, that's what they keep up here is a lot of new in the package stuff. That's mainly what I'm looking for while I look up here. I am about to come across these die cast cars that usually can do pretty decent, but these were priced higher than I like. $7.99 and $14.99. At that price, I'm going to pass today. Check out this Lizzie McGuire toy, though flash talk lizzie mcguire and they are only asking 2.99 for it all right i'm probably gonna butcher the name of this anime my hero academia but on this hat for 3.99 i should get well over 20 dollars plus shipping for this hat right here and this is an anime that has always sold well for me so i found this like cool stand-up halloween doll he looks pretty cool hey look it's me right there check it out guys Back to the doll, though. After doing a little research on it, it's actually not worth a lot. It's like a custom-made thing as well. And they're asking $7.99 for it, so I ended up passing on it. What are the chances of this? I was just watching Carrie American Arbitrage's latest video, and he found an Anquan Bolden jersey. And I found an Anquan Bolden jersey. They're asking $12.99, though, so I'm going to pass. Doesn't work. Gear stuck. So always test. All right. So this is a Bolo brand, Mr. Christmas. But I tested this first. So I plugged it in, tested it. It's supposed to rotate and open, and it's not. So I had to pass on this. Found a couple Cobra Mini Micro Walkie Talkies for five ninety nine each. They were actually half price too. But these things have a really bad sell-through rate, so I'm going to put them back. One thing about this thrift is the shoes are usually priced pretty high. These are some pretty good A6 right here that are worth about 40 bucks, but they want $19.99 for the pair. As much as I would love to buy them and flip them, I just can't put $20 into these shoes. On this same shelf, I looked up and I found these LeBrons, and again, I want to pick them up. But I believe these ones they have for thirty. Yeah, twenty nine ninety nine for the pair. I'm just not gonna pay that much for a pair of shoes. All right, guys, we're back at the house. While I was in line, I actually found this little people set right here behind the counter. It was nineteen ninety nine, but today this was half price, so I paid ten dollars for this Santa Claus little people little people train set. Um, this should go for about thirty five to forty dollars plus shipping, especially with Christmas coming. So. Um, I picked it up for 10 bucks, half price. Pretty good little flip right there. Little People, guys. Little People does really well. Um, it's actually collectible. So keep an eye out for stuff like this. Guys, yard sale season is winding down in Colorado. So there's not going to be as many yard sale videos that I'm going to be putting out. I'm going to travel a little bit. Going to Arizona, going to do some yard sales out there. But there are going to be a little bit fewer yard sale videos on the channel. But we're definitely going to do these thrifting videos. So please hang out with me, guys. Have a little patience. Next summer, we're definitely going to bring a lot of yard sale videos back. And also go check out the new channel, Old School Resale. And look at how I'm selling some of this stuff on eBay.